Hey everyone, so you may notice that I've got this really white background and that's because I'm at a hotel right now and the background is really really dark so I've got a chair right here with my bed duvet lying across it. So that the background is white and so you can actually see me because I looked literally white before like you cannot see a thing on my face because I'm right next to the window and then the background was just black so this is much better. Um, today I'm doing a tag video. This is probably going to be my last video until I get back to New Zealand and start making videos again. Like, I'm going to have to get over jet lag and get settled into uni before I can start making videos again. So maybe a week or two. Probably not even that. I don't even know. But this will be my last video for a bit. And I'm probably going to upload this while I'm in Singapore, Kuala Lumpur or England. So, I don't know. But obviously, you'll see this. So... Yeah, this tag is the Get To Know Me tag, and I'll put Liv's um, link down below so you can check out her channel, and I'll probably just video response this to her video so you can check it out. Um, I'm just going to read the questions off of my laptop again. Trusty laptop up on the windowsill. So, yeah, um, the questions will be in the info box along with the link to my blog showing what I've got on my face makeup-wise before you ask. Question 1. Are you a morning person? Yes, I am a total morning person. Um, unless I'm really, really tired and someone's trying to wake me up and I get really angry when people wake me up in the morning. Like, once I'm up, I'm up and I'm fine. But at night time, I literally get so grumpy if I'm tired. Especially if I'm hungry, I just go nuts and I'm not a night person. Um, a morning person, yes. <laughs> um, are you a collector of anything? Obviously, I collect makeup. Um, other than that, not really. I don't collect like stamps or anything. <laughs> what do you think about before you fall asleep? Um, I don't even know, but it takes me the longest time to fall asleep. Like at night time, I will lie in bed for about an hour or more just trying to get to sleep. Usually, I'll start thinking about something and then that'll lead on something else and that'll lead on something else and I'll just sit there and I'm just like so frustrated and just want to go to sleep but I can't because I can't stop thinking about random things. Does anyone else do that? Because it's like a pain in the ass. What is your favourite colour? Um, I don't really have a favourite colour. I really like purple and I really like blue, like royal blue and I really like emerald green and I like pink and I like, what else do I like? I don't know. I like lots of colours. Have you ever been addicted to any video or computer games? Yes. Um, when I was younger I used to be obsessed with like video games and computer games, whatever you want to call them. Um, I used to always, always, always play The Sims and like I would suck at actually playing The Sims. I just liked building the houses and you know, like I got really bored after you had to like find family friends and stuff if you guys have ever played it, you know what I mean? But yeah, I just liked building the houses and I used to always play Croc and I played Roller Coaster Tycoon and I played SimCity. I used to love all those tycoon things. I used to love like designing my own little worlds. It was so much fun. And I used to play Ratchet and Clank on PlayStation. Um, ever since like my dad got a PlayStation when I was really young, we used to always play PlayStation, like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. I don't really play on the PlayStation 3 now because I'm over it, but whatever. Do you have any bad habits? Probably. I can't think of them straight away. Like, with my nails, I'm really bad. Like, I have really bad nails anyway because at my work, I'm always, like, dunking my hands in hot water using cleaning chemicals and things. So, my cuticles are horrible. And as you can see, like, I have the most disgusting nails in the world. I'm sorry for even showing you, but, like, my cuticles are ripped and I bite them. I bite my cuticles. I bite my nails. Like, when I'm bored, I peel off my nails. And I peel off my nail polish as well. Like, I'll just... It's really gross. Um, do you have any siblings? No, I don't. Do you have any tattoos or piercings? Yes, if you've watched my tattoo and piercing video, you've seen... I've only got one tattoo, though. But... My nose is so itchy. I got most of them when I was in fifth form when I was like 15, 16. Um, if you've watched my video you've already seen them but I've had like four in my mouth at once and I've had all up my ears and I still have all my ear ones but I've had down my boobs done twice. I've had my belly button done twice. I've still got that. I've had like three dermal anchor piercings. I've had 
heaps and then of course I've got my little tattoo here when I get back to New Zealand I'm getting um, my other one so I have one on each arm what would be your dream vehicle or bike I don't know who would want a dream bike maybe like a Harley, Harley Davidson mm. um, I have my dream car at the moment um, I always wanted a 40 score and I have a Mark 1 40 score and I love it my dad did it up for me because he's a panel beater and painter so um, he's really good at doing up like classic and hot rod cars and things like that what famous person do people say you look like I don't even know like I don't think I look like any any famous person at all but um, ages ago I had a couple photos and some chick told me I looked like that Audrina Partridge or something off the hills is it I don't know but I don't think I look like her at all I don't see it at all you guys probably won't see it at all either because that was like three years ago anyway what is your favorite flower um I don't really have a favourite flower. I like any flower. Just flowers are pretty to me. As long as they're nice and colourful and, you know. What did you want to be when you were little? Will you ever be? When I was little, I used to want to be a vet because I love animals. Um, like, I've always loved animals so much. And when I was little, I was always like, I want to be a vet. But then I realised that if I was a vet, I'd have to, you know, give animals vaccinations and cut off their legs and cut out their bits and pieces and I don't want to do that so you know <laughs> what's stashed under your bed or mattress who would know probably a whole crap, of, crap load of rubbish and odd socks and stuff like that because I never clean out under my bed but whenever I move my bed like if I move my room around if I move my bed I always find like socks and makeup and stuff that I've lost for the longest time and then I find it there but I always end up having to chuck it away because it's like gross. What's the first thing you notice about the opposite sex? Um, I would have a clue. I guess the first thing I noticed about my boyfriend when I met him was his eyes because he had like, he doesn't really have it as much anymore like I don't know but he used to have like blue eyes but then he'd have this like hard out, you know how some people have the yellow around their Dot, I forget what that's called, pupil. Um, he had a really, really, really vibrant yellow ring around and that's kind of what I noticed first. But when I meet guys, I don't really notice that. I guess I notice like what colour their hair are or something. Like, I don't even know. I don't really take notice. Do you consider yourself a clean or a messy person? Um, I don't really know how to answer this. Like, with my stuff, I'm really messy. Like... I try to be tidy and I do tidy up and things but like when I'm in a rush I just chuck things everywhere, I chuck clothes and makeup everywhere and I can never find anything and you know like with my parents um, I think I'm quite clean like I always make sure that my hair is clean and my makeup and face is clean and you know sometimes my hair is really messy though like if I just chuck it up you guys have seen my videos where my hair is just a like complete mess even today um, it's kind of Munted, I really need a haircut like it's like when it's like straight it's like down to my rib like the bottom of my rib cage so I really need to trim up um but yeah and my clothes usually I'm really messy like I never iron my clothes or anything like that I just kind of chuck them on and out I go I don't really care that much so I don't know if you could live anywhere other than where you live now where would it be and why um probably America because then I could get cool makeup or maybe England because even though I was only there for like two seconds I loved it already and I'm about to go there on Friday afternoon unless I'm there already when you're watching this video I have been there already I don't know but I don't know I like New Zealand it's really nice it's just that like shopping and shopping sucks and all that kind of thing like it's just a really nice place but it sucks at the same time but it's a really nice place for a holiday if you want somewhere nice and pretty to go visit but if you live in New Zealand you know what I mean what is your favorite song right now um I don't really have one I really like that hold it against me song by Britney Spears um but the video clip have you guys seen it it sucks so bad it's like I don't even know what she was thinking do you have any hidden talents um I don't know. I don't really have talents. I guess one of my talents is I'm really, really good at, like, design and art and things. Like, a lot of people don't realise, but I'm actually 
this sounds so up myself but I'm actually really smart and I don't come across smart at all and I know that like, I always joke with my friends I'm like I'm book smart but I'm not life smart at all like I just say the stupidest things and I get my words tongue tied and I don't even know I swear I'm part dyslexic or something like that but I get really 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 good grades. I was really proud of myself last year with my schoolwork and everything. I almost passed NCA level 3 with excellence but I didn't do my photography boards which set me off. I got excellence with my design board though and I got into to Manawa Art Gallery which was awesome. So yeah. What's one thing that many people don't know about you? Um, I would never clue. Maybe that last thing I said? But people that, like that know me and lots of people that know me watch my videos anyway but people that know me knew that. I don't know. I'm a pretty open person. What is your favourite movie of all time? Um, I have a few. I like Titanic, that's a really cool movie. I like Cars because that's the first movie that me and my boyfriend went and saw together. Um, I like Dinner for Schmucks or Dinner with the Schmucks or whatever that's called. I think that's hilarious. Yeah, I have lots of favourite movies but I can never recall them. Do you know the origin of your name? I kind of mentioned this before, didn't I? Um, my name is Irish. Um, Shannon comes from River Shannon which runs through Shannon in Ireland which is kind of I think it's in the center of Ireland kind of like Ireland that's kind of up here in the northern bit a bit but not north I don't know how to explain it anyways and it means old wise river that's what my name means it's real attractive what did your last text on your cell phone say I would never clue probably goodbye because my cell phone's well, it's actually in my drawer in the hotel that we are living in at the moment, but it doesn't work over here, so my last text would have been the day we left New Zealand, which would probably have been from my boyfriend, saying goodbye and have a good time and all that kind of stuff. What seven YouTube folks would you like to meet in person? I wouldn't have a clue for seven. I'm just going to say I'd love to meet Liv who tagged me in this video. She said she'd like to meet me and I'd like to meet her too. I wish that I was staying around where she lives. I'm not going to say where she lives. In New Zealand longer when I get back, but I'm not going to be there. I could have met up with her or something, but didn't think of that earlier. Um, I'd like to meet all my girls from New Zealand that make YouTube videos like Alex and Heidi and everyone. They're all amazing. I'm not going to list them all because there's so many of them now. Like, there's so many YouTube girls from New Zealand on, which is awesome. Anyways, um, who do you tag? I don't know. No one ever does tags that I actually tag people to do so. I'm sorry, I'm like playing with my legs and things and playing with my hair tie. Um, if you want to do this tag, do it and I will watch it if you post it as a video response but no one ever makes me video responses. But yeah, if you do it, I'll watch it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, just kind of like a middle of, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, like, until I get back into making tutorials and things, like, I'll make some tutorials and I'm doing my favourite lipsticks video when I get back to New Zealand, but yeah, so hopefully I'll talk to you guys really soon, um, follow me on Twitter if you want, because I'll update there pretty much every day. So you can see what I'm up to and ask me when I'm going to make my next video and hound me and make me get my ass in together do it. So yeah, I hope you guys have a really good day. I'm sorry about me rambling and going on and on in this video, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.